So everybody, um, I'm going to try this the second time now. Um, there is uh, a really comatose sleeper out here who uh, doesn't seem to get it. He's, uh, he's at the level of religion, so he is asleep. Um, he's all about that name and fame and constantly thinks that he's going to tell me what's up and, and constantly put me down. See, the Lord is not going to have it. The Lord is not going to have it. So, le so let me get uh, some information here, some truth here, okay? This uh, short that he put out, this is about the third or fourth time that he's putting out the same exact short. And it says, are Catholics really Christians? Um, because he says in this short that uh, true Christians are saved by the grace of Jesus. They don't have to do anything. Catholics believe that you have to do works to be saved. So when what I was saying in my video about faith without works is dead. That is actually a verse from the Bible. These are God's words. So is he actually blaspheming the Holy Spirit now too? Is that ego actually blaspheming the Holy Spirit? Well, it won't be the first time he's done it. That's for sure. Won't be the first time he's done it. But anyways, what I was speaking to you all about doing works. Let's, let's think about this. We are saved by grace. We have, we have really nothing to do about that. Only God can do that. The same way that only God can live veils from us. Okay? Um, why do you think this particular sleeper prides himself on the title of pastor? Why do you think this particular sleeper prides himself on the title of demon slayer? So if, if Christians don't have to do any works, they're saved by the grace of Jesus. Why do you think these people are so adamant about casting out demons? People don't, shouldn't need to do anything now, should they? They're saved, right? They, they, they don't need to do any kind of works. They don't need to do anything to get out of the darkness and into the light, do they? Do they? Well, not according to this sleeper, not according to this sleeper. You see, this is what you call a hypocrite. This is what you call somebody who speaks through both sides of their mouth. This is the type of person you must be very, very careful around. This is not a Christian. You see, Christians try to emulate Jesus Christ. They are not constantly attacking other Christians out here. They are not constantly saying that Catholics are not Christians. How could a person who doesn't know the first thing about Christian behavior decide whether a whole sect of a religion is a Christian or not? God is still on the throne. This is what I keep constantly saying. God is still on the throne. So what I was teaching you guys today in my video is that we're not we're not doing any kind of work here to get saved that's not what i said is that what i said that's not what i said that might be what this sleeper heard that's not what i said only god can save us only god can lift veils from us only god can cast out demons from us only god can heal our diseases. You see, this sleeper believes he's actually doing it. Isn't that funny? He believes he's actually doing it. Well, it goes to show you where he's at. He's, he's very much in the darkness. He's, he's battling a great battle with Satan right now. And I really just want you all to understand what you're seeing out here. This is the whole purpose of this video, because otherwise I would not waste my time on this guy any longer. He's, uh, he's absolutely not in the business of getting in oneness with God. He's in the business of everyone having to believe that he is God, okay? Um, so what was I telling you? The whole reason why people um, go for deliverance to get the demons cast out is this is what we have to do to 
repent and pay for the choices that we've made in life. This is what I was telling you guys. Nobody gets, gets out of jail free card in this world. Nobody does. We have to pay for the decisions that we've made in life. So we, we opened portals. We got demons. Well, now we got to get them cast out. Because we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior does not mean that the second we do that, that these demons are cast out. It means we are saved. It does not mean that these demons are cast out. Therefore, we look for demon slayers and we go and get the demons cast out. You, is this starting to make sense to you? So, this is why I'm telling you that you've got to do all this stuff to break out of the darkness, to break out of the darkness, to be in that oneness space with the Lord. If that's where you desire to be, well, this sleeper obviously does not desire to be there and God bless him in his darkness. Let him stay right there. But he best learned that he better leave me alone because God is not happy with him. So all I want to say about that He should learn how to do him and leave me alone to do me. That's really what he should do. So the sleeper believes that God put him in charge of deciding whether Catholics are Christians or not. And um, this one who doesn't even know how to play nice with others feels that he is an authority on what a Christian is. This is why we absolutely need discernment out here. We absolutely need discernment out here. It's not a joke. The spiritual world is real. You see, and the more he behaves like this, uh, you, what we loose on earth is being loosed in heaven. He's opening portals for himself. This is what's happening. This is why he cannot break out of this cycle of spiritual warfare that he's in. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. You see, the will has to be greater than the demonic attack. He doesn't have that will. He likes the argument. He likes the argument. Can we say which, which, which kind of person loves to argue? Yeah, that would be a narc. Narc alarm. Narc alarm. That's who it would be. That's who it would be. So no, I never said that we would get saved by works. I never said that. I never said that veils would be lifted by works either. What I said was we have to want to be in oneness with God more than we want our next breath, more than we want to have name and fame and be glorified out in the world. And when God sees our earnestness, why? Because God knows our heart god knows our heart when god sees our earnestness he will begin to lift veils for us but we are going to have to do the work to get out of the darkness we most absolutely do and i'm telling you this from experience as you see the sleeper is still in the sleep and he thinks, he thinks he's uh, awake enough and uh, has the authority to, to tell that millions of Catholics all over the world are not Christians. When he's the one that I can see who is not behaving like a Christian. Now, isn't that projection for you? Isn't that projection for you? You'll be blessed. I will put this joke of a short in the description.